but it's, it's called client finance acquisition, or at least that's what I call it. And so client finance acquisition is when you have essentially a negative acquisition cost. And the equation for that is for me that I must make in 30 day cash, right? Which is something that I call, but just the amount of cash that I can take from a customer in net free cash flow in the first 30 days. And the first 30 days is important which I'll, and I'll get back to why it's important in a second, but the amount of money that I can generate from a new customer in the first 30 days in net free cash flow must exceed two times the cost of acquisition and the cost of fulfillment. If I can do that, then it means that I no longer am capital constrained for growth. And so I can use the cash. So let's say I acquire, let's say it costs me a hundred bucks to a car customer, right? And let's say it cost me, I don't know, a hundred bucks to fulfill them. All right. So $200 is, is my cost. I have to make two times that in net free cash. So I would have to price, I would have to be selling whatever the widget is. I'd have to generate $600 in cash in the first 30 days from that prospect. If I can do that, I cover their cost of fulfillment and their cost of acquisition and the cost of acquiring and fulfilling the next customer off of that initial. And I still have money left over to then profit, hire more people, et cetera. And so that is what we try to design an acquisition system that we build independent of market, whether it's for photographers, whether it's for certifications, whether it's for gym licensing, whether it's for e-commerce, we do it in every single vertical we're in. And we continue to push the model until we achieve that. And then at that point, we no longer have a marketing budget. We can spend as much money as we damn well please in the acquisition and then operations becomes the bottleneck of scale. And so that is why each, each of the companies has scaled at such a rapid rate is because I don't need anyone's money to do it and why we've owned every one of the companies outright without taking on outside capital. 